Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Pamela and on today's video, I am doing a suggested video actually. I posted on my Instagram for my salty pecans, my houseplant fam. <laughs> I still think this is hilarious that you all, well, the, the amazing fams that joined my live stream, my last live stream when I was just being Pam with you all, just enjoying that one-on-one -on -one time it felt. But it wasn't one-on-one, -on -one. it was kind of like you're hanging out with a group of friends. So we were all chilling and you know, you guys were in the DMs in the chats just chatting away and I'm responding to you all live. It was just amazing. So you all have decided to call yourselves <gasps> Salty Pecans! Yes, so uh, on today's video, one of my Salty Pecans, Jeffrey Harlem Planter on Instagram. Thank you so much for your suggestion. He suggested I do a Strings of Heart update. So I'm actually going to do the update for both of my Strings of Hearts. Beautiful plants. So if you're interested in my video and what I gotta chat about, then keep on watching. So welcome back everyone. Alright. I have two beautiful beautiful and it just literally just keeps on going. Let me hold on to this so this doesn't fall. It just keeps on going. Okay. I purchased this plant. My goodness. I think it was probably like this long. Uh, and it was just like one or two of them that were this long in December. They came in pretty bad shape. But I was just hella excited to have this plant because I love the string of hearts so I purchased it alongside a Ripsalis that I also love and since then this plant has been growing a lot I've chopped it I've successfully propagated I've also unsuccessfully propagated this plant and if you know about strings of hearts then everyone knows about the variegated strings of hearts that's like the Yes, the resistance, you know, of plants, of strings, of hearts. So, I managed to find this beauty sometime in the winter, spring months. And this plant also started off as just a few little pups, right? Not even trailing wanted to trail, just the thought of trailing was all they wanted to be when it grew up. That is literally, you know, it's like, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. Well, the strings of heart variegated was just like, I want to trail and find when I grow up. So it has definitely gone ahead and done that for me. So I had a horrible casualty, horrible, horrible, in my opinion, casualty with this plant um, towards the mid end of the summer. Some stupid plant fell and when that stupid plant fell, it snagged onto my strings of heart variegated and it yanked the whole plant down. Several vines snapped, some parts of it got smushed. It was just, I, I think it was, it, I got to the point where I wanted to cry. It was just that devastating. Say a prayer for me. Please say a prayer for me. What the fucking hell, bro? Gasp, what the fuck? Oh my gosh. In water you go <laughs> fingers crossed up any confusion I was pulling this stupid fucking plant down and then you know it was here the plant got stuck to it and then it pulled down everything so that's what happened but you know I know hey 
Pam, don't worry. It'll grow back. A lot of them like snapped, you know, towards the top. For example, this one right here, it snapped like, is it gonna show? It snapped right here. And since then, this vine has gone ahead and pushed out some more, I believe. Uh, this one was okay. Or it might have, this one right here snapped right here. So as you can see, it went ahead and just pushed out new growth. And another part right here also snapped. And that one snapped a little bit higher up. But that's gone ahead and vined in one, just gave me one string. So I tried to propagate those strings that they were like really long vines. So imagine this piece being like as long as like this being this long. So about can you see sorry so about from here to here right so from the base of here to where my hands is is basically what I lost it was really devastating I sent some to you know like some people that I know and I also tried to propagate them unsuccessfully so what I decided to do this time around is chop this plant up I decided on a whim to snip off my variegated strings of hearts right here today actually and let me show you what I'm doing so I went ahead and put, got like a Tupperware I put some moss in here I also have some dirt and oh can you see I have some regular strings of hearts in here and I have some variegated strings of hearts in here Regular strings of hearts, in my opinion, are very, very, very easy to propagate for me at least. They're very, very easy to propagate. The variegated strings of heart, on the other hand, I've had zero success propagating them via water. So I'm trying to do the sphagnum moss way, you know, this time around, and I hope it, you know, I have some success. I have in here some sphagnum moss, some cocoa like chips, and a little bit of soil just like mixed in, and maybe some tiny bit of perlite, but not a lot. I'm just, oh, and there's some leka in here too. So I'm going to try and propagate them this way, and hopefully they are successful because um, I'm trying to make a, a full four inch potted plant for someone to win um, when I hit 5k on YouTube so I'm propagating that currently and I'm also just trying the butterfly method for the regular strings of hearts these are super super easy to propagate like regularly so my cat just jumped on the bed these are regular really easy to propagate via water I notice that when I do try to propagate them via water I don't let the tips callous I make sure I have my water ready so as soon as I cut it off I cut off whatever you know excess flowers or leaves that are on the stem and I just stick that in the water before it calluses that is how I have success with my regular strings of hearts if I do let them callous they tend to give me a bit more difficulty rooting so this is how they look and yeah I'll see what this does I have this behind me when I film and you guys won't see it because it's a little bit further down but fingers crossed this works so these plants they're really really easy to care for this one I let go thirsty like a lot more than I should embarrassingly more than I should but this plant is a drought resistant plant so if you're someone who's an underwaterer strings of hearts are really easy and are, I definitely recommend to own my plants both of them they live in my northeast facing window
so both of my plants live in my east facing window on my east facing window at my east facing window they live on my east face they hang okay they reside they chill at my east facing window and they just hang up for majority of my variegated strings of hearts it was on a little shelf but now that it's gotten too long to just be on the shelf i've gone ahead and added it to this macrame hanger and this is just one of the tupperware lids as a saucer really easy and also applies to this plant too yeah drought resistant this one i try to not let it go through a drought because i'm really sensitive about this plant it's one of my favorite plants and i'm more cautious and I do try and stay on top of the care for my variegated strings of hearts. But the regular green strings of hearts, they're so non-fussy that you don't have to stay on top of them. So watering, I find this plant would prefer to not dry out. Uh, so if you could maybe the first like centimeter or two starts to get a little dry, you can water it but don't overwater your plant um yeah it's really easy really 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 easy plant just give it as good lighting as you can east facing window is good but always be mindful in your area because maybe my elevation might cause the heat to be different at my window than it will be yours so just be mindful when placing your plants you know on the windowsills you know some of them but other than that I fertilize this plant every so often I alternate between fertilizers sometimes I use liquid dirt if you're interested in you know trying liquid dirt out I do have a 25% off coupon code well promo code which is just my name Pamela Pierre P-A-M-E-L-L-A-P-I-E-R-R-E -E -E, and you know your girl makes a little coin if you guys do use the promo code but try liquid dirt my plants have been responding really well to them I also use fish emulsion you can do that I also use my aquarium water but just make sure that you use aquarium water that does not have salt in it some people have more brackish water or they prefer a higher salt content in their aquarium so be mindful to not use salty aquarium water and I do use super thrive I love super thrive definitely recommend that product for you but yes try to alternate you know see what your plants like and you don't have to be bound to just one brand okay but yes other than that this is all I can you know all the updates I do have unfortunately my strings of heart silver glory did not survive I tried to root them it was like unsuccessful in water so that was a little sad but uh, I have my eyes out you know keeping my eyes peeled for more but other than that everyone thank you so much for watching this video this is all the updates I have on my strings of heart if you liked it please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and sharing subscribe if you aren't already join this little kooky family because we're pretty awesome here be a salty pecan <laughs> and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video and again thank you Jeffrey for suggesting this video and I will see you on the next one. Let's get growing. Bye.